Greetings, Masanda Wana. We back with yet another installment of the Elocon, and this time we bring you the preview of our way trip to Richards Bay as we'll be taking on a third spot, the uh, number three, Richards Bay, yeah. on Friday evening. Raps, how are you? I'm not a Zoena. No, no, I'm good, good, man. Another win, uh, two, two wins in a row against uh, Soweto Club. So, yeah, couldn't be a, 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 any better, man. But, yeah, let's get into this preview. We are on a newly promoted uh, Richards Bay uh, on Friday. Uh, they've been doing really well, man. Uh, do you think there's just a flash, there's just a flash in the pen? Or this is how they'll be throughout uh, uh, the rest of the season and maybe even next season and going forward. I think I think it is difficult to tell at this moment, but I am hoping that uh, they are still going to continue playing very well. Because I remember uh, a few seasons back when Silos came from uh, Trade Africa, they started very well uh, in their first season back to the premiership. But uh, in the next coming seasons, that's where we started seeing Suelos struggling. So I hope uh, Richard's Bay is going to be a different story to them. But so far, they've done very well. And I, I, I'm very impressed with them. I think uh, 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 the points that they managed to, 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 to get and also how they play, their style of play, it is very uh, impressive so far. Yeah, not true. They've really been impressive, man. Uh, why do you think uh, uh, they are doing so well? Because Knights, I think uh, what they've done in that they've mixed players that help them gain promotion as well as get, obtaining players with PSL experience has helped them. I mean, you look at uh, their back four, né? three of their current back four started when they, we played against them in the NetBank Cup last season. Né? So that tells you, you know, uh, they, 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 they've built a relationship on Raul Mole. Hence, they not, they, they, they're considering uh, 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 not so many uh, goals this season. Né? And then you have Nzunduana up top uh, who can play on the left and uh, SN9 who was there last season. So that's four players who are regulars in their team. So mixing experience and then uh, 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 players who've helped uh, you gain promotion, I think, has done well for them. Wena? Yeah, no, I think they've kept a, a majority of their squad in Vajala Kayona, go, 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 NFT. And they, they believed in them. They not just kept them and uh, benched them. These guys have featured in majority of the games and they've done very well. And also, uh, uh, they managed to, to, to add the experienced uh, uh, guys, the likes of Ntikelo uh, Nyauza, and also Ted. I think um, Ted was the captain of the Bosch and also Colin Tunduan, Clay, and Nyauza, who were the captain. So it shows you at the back they have experience. Hence, uh, they've considered uh, uh, less goals because of, they are playing with uh, guys who are more experienced. And also, uh, they stopped this thing. Team Haifika, Kokoko PSL. But after all the experienced and old guys who have done it all and won it all, I think those guys, they no longer have passion like the guys coming from NFT because of they want to make their names and they know how difficult it is to go NFT. So instead of having a 33-year-old player who has won it all, I would rather have a player coming from NFT who's more hungry and who, who wants to make the name for himself. True, true. That's a that's a very very good point. I fully agree with you on the on that. Eh? Eh, Rabs, both goalkeepers have kept ten clean sheets in the uh, Premier Soccer League uh, this season. Are you expecting goals in this one? From our side, I think we, we will score. But for for Richards Bay. I, I uh, they are not scoring enough, Wabo, mm. but they, 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 are, they, they are defending very well. But I'm expecting them to, to, to concede as much as they, they have defended very well uh, in the season so far. But I'm expecting them to concede against Mamel Sanders because of if you can look at our our uh, goal difference, 
it's very huge. You, you compare us and uh, the other teams that are beneath us, the gap is very huge. So I'm expecting uh, them to concede. But as for us, whew, I, I don't see us conceding, man. <laughs> you know what's happening right now is taking me back to how we started. Was it last season where it got we got uh, to uh, over tenth game, ne? Uh, without conceding or something like that? It's, it's taking me back to that, and it got to a point where people had uh, stopped thinking or wanting to beat Sundowns. It was all about scoring it finally yeah. against Sundowns. That's the one that mattered to them. But yeah, like you said, I think. I think they haven't faced a team like Sundowns uh, uh, <clears throat> with an attack like ours. Uh, they haven't faced Ulani Ball in simple terms. They haven't faced Ulani Ball and they won't know what hit, hit them and, uh, uh, come uh, Friday. Uh, let's talk about numbers. They are currently set on the lock. They've played 14 games. They've won seven. Uh, they've drawn uh, five. They've lost two games. They have uh, scored 12 goals, conceding six goal difference. I want to give six. They are currently on 26 points. You mentioned uh, uh, their firepower. Uh, they have scored 0 0.86 goals. This They average 0 0.86 goals this season, which is poor. But they they aver in terms of goals conceded, they are averaging 0 0.43, which is very, very, very good for a, a newly uh, promoted side. Eh? So, yeah, it will, I think. Uh, the fact that they don't score will uh, it will hurt them this coming uh, for a lack of a better way it will hurt them in this uh, uh, forthcoming match you know because Sundown will definitely score so for them to get anything out of this game they definitely have to score and I just don't see a, a, a Sundowns conceding uh, in this match and let's talk about what we expect from them now now I expect a team that uh, will be hard to beat. I don't think they will give us a uh, match, you know. As, as as good as we are in attack, I think their plan will be not to give us much, uh, 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 you know. And then I expect a high volume of crosses from their side, uh, from uh, uh, Bans. That's I think Labo now. And with those crosses, they have Nzundwana who plays <clears throat> either as a left winger <clears throat> or as a knight. Né? When he plays as a left wing, he has he, 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 his movement is really, really uh, good because he makes runs from out to in. And if the, 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 the right back is not careful, he can hurt you because you're thinking, no, he stayed on the wing and he's not. He's making he's made a run without the ball uh, into uh, the 18, expecting a cross. And uh, 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 Ban supplies a lot of those crosses. Um, I expect them to high press but not be aggressive in their press. That's what I've, I've seen in, in, in their game. They press high, but their press is not as aggressive as our press. Well, now we are very aggressive uh, 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 on our press. Now. And then there's that danger yeah, Memela Mole mo, 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 mo turning in a hole. If he's not, um, I think he'll be very crucial for them because I don't think they will play a double pivot yama tabula le mabas with this game uh, i'll tell you who i think they will play but yeah he's he, he's very crucial for them in the attack because my mate can find a pass he's had us in the past and he can do it on his day he can hit uh, um, any team uh, yeah like i said i uh, expect him to um uh come on buns on the right he's very good at the take ones now he will dribble and then He's very good and direct. He, uh, 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 and uh, he's very skillful and very direct. You know, has he your typical modern uh, modern winger who cuts inside a lot? No, he takes on a defender, big defender uh, uh, courses. What do you expect from them? I think I'm expecting a, a team that is going to be uh, stubborn and a team that is going to show uh, the resilience. I think against Orlando Pirates, go uh, Orlando. They went one man down uh, before half time. That's or before right? half time, yeah. 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 So they, they, they played a uh, one man shot, but they still managed to get a point. So it shows that they are resilient and also, uh, you know, also it speaks to the, to the teamwork and the defending as well. But uh, against Sundowns, I think they, they will go with 
football football table na hatog double full backs i think uh, it will be much body on the right and also uh, kimang bans uh, as a right wing so i think uh, the their creativity will mostly come from the right because of the speed of Majid Bodu and also a, a bounce like we have said is more direct. He likes to take on defenders and deliver those crosses. And also, what I've picked up uh, from this research besides that Memela, he no longer on, he is not only plays uh, between the pocket. He also can make the runs behind the defense. And also, Le Kimang and Zunda sometimes he comes too deep to receive. Uh, those, those those balls and for a player of his height, he yeah. has the mobility and he has the the, the skill to try and great angles or great goal scoring opportunity for himself and also for 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 for, for the team as well. True, true. Um, uh, they, 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 they they call him Balo. Uh, and you can t- if you watch a uh, Balo tell you, uh, the, in, in the early stages of his career, you'll understand why they call. Uh, 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 to he has that aggression yeah. for a very tall guy. Man, it's it, 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 it to be playing come on, win. It's it's it, it's unheard of. You know, he, it's the same as uh, this guy who plays for Newcastle. There's a tall guy. I just forgot his name. He plays on the side, and I always find it weird seeing very tall guys <laughs> uh, running on, on on the wing. Man, um, you mentioned uh, Harry, who they might play here. I doubt it. I doubt that they will bench uh, their captain uh, 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 Martin. Because I think in their last game, this is how they set up. They said they had uh, their uh, goalkeeper uh, Magaula, and then they had Mapate, Mnumega, uh, Nyauza, Le Mabowene. Uh, of that four, Kinyauza Fela, who was not there uh, last season. You know? And then in middle field, they had a double field, the, the double field, Yamabas on Matibula. And then uh, Siandam Sani on the, the, the left, and then Pans on the right, and then uh, uh, Memela just behind uh, Nzunduana. So it was a 4 4 4 4 1 1. Then I, I have a feeling where in this game they might tinker with it a bit, you know, and maybe turn it into a 4 3 3. I think they might uh, drop Msani. Ne? You said uh, kind of football table, Nagata, but double what? Double full backs, double full backs, and Msani go sundowns and Atlanta as a as a left back, you know. Uh, so I think they might drop him. I don't think they'll go for double full backs on the left. I think uh, 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 will come to the left, you know? and then they might drop me, me and only bring him a second half. So I think it will be for, for three three, uh, Matibula. Uh, Mdabuka as well as Mabaz because uh, 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 Matebula will, 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 will get a, a, who, who needs play for them. He controls the game for them. He moves the ball for them. Mabaz gives legs all around middle field and as well as protecting the back four. So I think they will realize what a, a two men middle field will struggle against sundowns, which a, a three men yeah. middle field their sundowns, especially the way Neol and Le Alain they play as the eight. They don't play like any other eight. So I think they might go for a middle field three, yeah, yeah, Yamabaso, Matebula, as well as Ndabuka. And then uh, in, uh, up front, it will be a uh, 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 Bans on the right and then a uh, Balo on the left, and maybe a uh, Mkutuma or Shumwa. Uh, up top. That's how I think they did it. Because going at double pivot daily, you can do it against any other team, not Sundowns. Not so you can't play double pivot, especially if it's a double pivot, yeah, two hard men. Or even two hard men, you can maybe get away if mm-hmm. one is a, a, a slightly creative uh, or more, yeah, you will chase all day. Let's talk about Sundowns hubs. Rabelang, how important is Marcelo a lender to Sundowns? I think uh, he's very crucial. Uh, as much as his goal contribution is not where one would ex- expect, but the overall performance, I think he, he has done very well. Uh, I think he, he has a brilliant first touch. His awareness, I think, it is out of this world. And also how sometimes 
he, he, he drops too deep and collects the ball and give players options and he avails himself. You know, sometimes I play a lot of day bad, but uh, Alende doesn't hide. He always avails himself and try to create spaces for, for others or, and also for himself. So I think a uh, 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 tactical, I think he, he is very uh, uh, brilliant. You know, what you've said is spot on. Uh, when we signed this guy, I thought we were signing a 10. I didn't think well, this guy was a, a middle fielder, middle fielder, especially when I looked at his frame. I thought, ah, this kid, he, the Serino type, you know, a, a typical a, a, a South American 10 with a with flair and so forth. Man. And then I started watching him, man. The way that guy plays a ticket, it's 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 so unique, man. I I don't think there's a there's a player who plays a he plays. I swear to God, that guy he seemingly plays six, eight, and ten. Cannot go in one in one game because he sometimes drop drop even a uh, a uh, behind a a a Sometimes he'd be central. Sometimes. He'd be on the left, at times on the right. Sometimes he'd be at the tip, you know. And there's something that I'm picking up now. They are building a, a great relationship with Enale Lineo. Because at times, the coach Ulani with him, second half, they moved Neo to the wide channel, uh, more left, more Lene, uh, to, to be on the touchline. I realized most of the time, I landed, uh, uh, would shift and add a closer to, 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 to Neo. Whereas you'd expect to find him on the other side of uh, of uh, the middle field, and I've picked up or they do this quite frequently to overload that side. Once they overload, they switch ball to the other side. Come on, so he's technically he's, he's brilliant, man. He's a he's a he's a joy to watch, man. But yeah, how do we beat um, this team, Raps? So I think I've done my analysis and I. Didn't come with uh, too much or waste how to beat this team. And I think they're a team that has energy in the middle field, but their awareness to close down spaces quickly. I think that's where Bastragel are. As much as there's the stamina, there's the energy, but the awareness to shut down the space on time. I think Kiona ever cover time. And also, you spoke about they are pressing high sometimes. And sometimes pressing high, it forces you to play a high line. Hence, their game against uh, Chipper United, the first goal that they considered, it was from their high line. They were almost uh, 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 near to the center line. And Chipper United played the ball behind their defense. And also against their, against uh, uh, Maritzberg, where they were playing a high line. Uh, uh, played the ball behind to uh, Sukun and he missed. So I think mm. if they continue playing that high line, I think we might uh, hurt them. But if they defend too deep, like how Merendorp did, I think we can still hurt them. So it, it is difficult for them to come up with ways how to stop Mamelodi Sundowns. And lastly, they are a team that struggles to defend a, a, a crosses. They are struggling way, way, way too much for, for the height that they have and the experience that they have. I'm expecting more. The, the, the game against Orlando Pirates, I think Orlando Pirates won too much uh, aerial balls on the box of uh, uh, Richard Smith. So I think we might get something like we did against Orlando Pirates from a set piece or from a corner as well. Hmm. Yeah, no. Speaking about their 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 press uh, and uh, how high their line gets, ne? Uh, I think we should invite them, ne? And then as they come, because I realized against Amazon, ne? They would uh, go up and sometimes they are so high that even the the the, the full back stab on uh, and and, and my party, they are high, ne? Leaving space in behind them, and Amazon would. Uh, uh, invite them as soon as uh, they, 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 they entice them, they will play the ball into those channels, uh, empty channels. Bravo. So, if there's one team that I've seen um, uh, uh, exploit uh, that reality, I think we need to it, 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 we need to stop the 
cause it and talk that 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 bans because I think uh, uh, him uh, 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 taking on our left uh, our left back and then crossing and then finding Tsunwana might cause us trouble. So I think Lemo Dao has to uh, be switched on. Dao needs to stop this thing of his of not playing to the whistle. Even yesterday, he did that thing again. <laughs> and he stopped playing. But luckily, he, he, he recovered. And I think he won back possession. But yeah, he needs to stop. stop. It, needs, it needs to be drilled into him. Hey, until Pala Ella players with a ball higher. Even if you've seen or it's in the ball, continue uh, uh, running. And if I think if uh, if they play a double pivot, né, we need to play inside a uh, 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 more and more middle field in né? And then, how about how about how about that? But higher, more hairy, more as we play inside, they will leave space in the hole for. Uh, they leave space between their central uh, center backs and then their central uh, middle field. And I think Zwan can punish them uh, if we do that double because if they play a double pivot, we we'll definitely outnumber them in the middle of the park. Well, well. and then I've realized though, uh, uh, they mark zone only the corners are more now. So. I think in this game, uh, the 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 outswingers uh, will help us get into a corner. Uh, let's talk about the uh, lineup. Your sun downs. Uh, am I going first or are you going first? I'll I'll go first. Uh, I'll obviously keep uh, Mr. Clean Sheet uh, Williams. I would I would keep Kudisom Dow Grant and Mtobin Vala. I think I'd start. Uh, Diva as my left back. I would have the same middle field three of Tebo Alende, Le uh, Mayama. Then up front, I'd have Temba, Keshias. I think this game will suit a guy like Mtupa. So I, I'd start Mtupa. Uh, I'd start Mtupa in this game. Okay. We have similar lineups except for uh, in, in, in space. I'll start the same lineup that started. Uh, the, the game yeah, swallows them, but uh, up front it will be Zwani, Mailula, and Domingo. I'd go for uh, for, 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 for Hashim uh, in this game. Prediction? I think it will be one nil. One nil. Uh, it will come from Mutobi. Mutobi or Grant, I think we'll score from the set piece. Okay. I'm going for 2-0. Uh, in every game that we'll play, I'll always predict or Melula will score. So I think Melula will score and Alende will score um, uh, 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 another one. And yeah, that's that Masandawana. That's another episode of the Yellow Corner. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Please uh, click on that notification bell so that every time we drop, you get a notification. And yeah, tell everyone about uh, the Yellow Corner who doesn't know about the Yellow Corner. Or, no, there's a YouTube channel, the Sundown Supporters, uh, where we preview the games of Mamelodi Sundowns. You will see us next week, Monday, as we preview our home match against uh, Chipa United. Yeah, I'm correct. I've been saying Chipa, we'll play Chipa for a while now. Eh? Yeah, and I think our next game is against Chipa. All right, that's it. Shop shop, Masan Norma. Shop shop, Nurish. See you.